everyone. I am on my way to Swords Optics to get my glasses. I'm gonna show you what I look like. Look in them now. Oh my god, I'm so excited. I'm home and I have gotten my glasses. Oh my god. This is what they look like. I saw fake ones of these from H&M and now the fact that I have to wear them, I'm really happy. I thought I wouldn't like them. I thought that they wouldn't see my face. They do. I love these. This is what they look like. Very, very cute. Oh, I can't show you that way. But this is what they look like. I'm just obsessed. It's finally time to open the advent calendars because today was the 12th, I think. I literally, I don't know what day it is ever. 12th, yeah, okay. So today we have gotten whoop, another truffle chocolate. And then, in our face masks, the Linda and the Condor is very repetitive. Like, they, they could have added a little bit more for a surprise effect. But anyway, for the face mask today, we have... Ooh. A pomegranate clay mask. Now, I just want to have a look at the clay masks that I've collected over the past few days because I'm going to do one today, but I don't know. I don't want to do pomegranate because I don't like pomegranate that much. So it's not like a strong competition. Matcha clay mask. I think that would be a good one. Vanilla M. Avocado. M. Shea butter. Right. These are all not as exciting as the others. So, so far we've got Bacha going up against Strawberry. Matcha Strawberry, I think Matcha is more interesting. Tea Tree, now I do think this one would be interesting as well. Blueberry, Banana, Pineapple. Okay, so I've got my three finalists. I actually don't know which one to do. Right. So matcha, tea tree, or pineapple. Okay, matcha or pineapple. I think we're doing matcha. I think we have to do matcha. I've just been very set on it. Okay, we're going to do matcha clay mask later on. But before we do that, what do we have to do before? We might do that now. I don't know. We'll see in the next clip what I'm up to. <laughs> so I got a really small gift for Rowan's brothers. He's got three and I got them all selection boxes. <laughs> I got the same ones because I didn't want to get like... You know different ones and i don't know which who would like what but anyway, i'm gonna wrap them really quick and i'm gonna show you how they look after they have been gift wrapped this is the final product guys i have wrapped the tree selection boxes and i just think they look adorable i'm gonna add them to my present collection now it is time to do another face mask so today we're doing the matcha clay mask after a very hard decision oh i thought it was gonna be I don't know guys, it smells the same as my kiwi one and it looks the same. Is it? I really thought that this face mask would be kind of darker green, as in not a darker but like not, tur not turquoise, like an actual green and like way more pastel. It does not smell like matcha. <laughs> it smells exactly like the kiwi ones. I don't know if they got confused or if they were just like, you know what? We've got some kiwi left over. Let's just call it matcha. Because the kiwi also did not smell like kiwi. Like, I don't know what this smells like, but it's for sure not matcha or kiwi. It's just something and they decided to call it this. I feel like these masks, they're really cool and they're really smooth and they feel really nice. I don't know if they actually do something because like, it's not like I do these masks for something, I just do them for skincare. I like doing face masks and like taking care of my skin, but my skin doesn't look too bad. So it's not like I'll actually see a difference. I'll see what this one is for if it's brighter than it or something else see if my skin gets brighter i don't know 
but personally I don't see too much of a change I don't know I feel like my expectations are just way higher because they made the you know they made them so interesting like matcha kiwi pineapple flavor not flavor I never know what to call them but they're just they're just not really all that I have applied the face mask fully and like in the first one I still have so much left but I've got no more face so it really depends on which one you get to see how much is inside one of these packets because yesterday there was barely no not yesterday the one I did before this one though there was barely any in it now I think that this is the same as the kiwi mask and the kiwi mask had so much in it so it could be the same I don't know I don't know I have a few minutes until this clay mask dries so I decided to do some homework now today Right now I'm doing Spanish, later I'm going to do Irish, then I'm going to go shower, take off my face mask. And then I have business and maths homework. Maths for tomorrow, business not, so I'm going to do maths homework. And then I'm going to work on my English essay and then do my business. And then what did I have to do? Maths, glasses, pubs, went. Um, shower, we'll do face mask and care, we'll do English, Irish, business. English. I, yeah. So, homework study for the day. I will keep you guys updated, but right now let's get to doing Spanish. As you can tell, I have just showered and I'm going to show you my very, very long skincare routine that I never really do. Only sometimes if I'm feeling fancy or if, if I just want to, I don't know. But anyway, I start up by cleaning my eyes with the Nivea Micellar, Micellar Skin Breathe. Right after that, what do I do? I don't even remember this skincare. Oh yeah, right. So then, I got this from my friend Amy. It is a, a glow cleansing stick from Boots. It's actually really, really cool. So, I'll just apply that right onto my face. I don't know why I look so red. I don't know what it is. I feel like sometimes recently I've been very stressed and because I've been so stressed, my face just goes red and doesn't go away. Like, can you see that? It's so weird. But I am. Then I have my crystal eye roller um, because my skin is very smooth from the cleanse is sick. I just like to roll under my eyes. I believe it makes them look like the, it makes the bags under under bags, under eye bags, look a little better. Guys, I just had a flashback from when I was younger. Oh, I ordered food, so we're gonna do a mood bank, and I just got a confirmation. But I got a flashback from when I was younger, and. Do you know what I said about the bags under eyes? And one of my captions for Instagram was the only bags that I have under my eyes are Gucci. <laughs> Disgusting. But anyway, then we wipe all of this off with just a normal cotton pad, I think they're called. My brain is a little dead today. I feel like so much has happened. And I'm running on only a few hours of sleep, so I just can't think properly. I'm just overly exhausted. But anyway, once we wipe all of that off, we take another cotton pad, apply this. I have the under 20 anti-acne um, cleansing antibacterial toner. Which is really really good and it smells so nice what does it smell like does it say oh raspberry strawberry and uh aloe vera i couldn't think of it because it says it in polish and i had to translate it in my brain but anyway i put it all over my face apart from the eyes i avoid my eyes just because i feel like it would stain Now this toner I use day and night, every day. This is a part of my every single day routine as well as cleaning my eyes with Miss Lair, eh, Nivea. 
uh, water. So anyway, after this, I apply no, spirits. It's spirits as in polish, and basically it just dries off any like acne that I would have because I have a lot on my nose and on my forehead. That's just the places I dub this on too, as well as here under my chin. Now, I don't have acne, and I've never had bad acne, which I feel really, really lucky, but obviously, occasionally, everyone gets a spot or two. Um, so, yeah, I just like to avoid that by using this product, which is a antibacterial special task gel. And it's for spots, and I thought I felt one here. Obviously, you can't see it, but you can feel them. So I just want to pop them wherever I think I could have a little issue. There we go. And after this, I let this dry for a bit, and I'm going to apply my ordinary. It is the... the, the, the the ordinary niacinamide, 10% zinc, 1% high strength vitamin and mineral blush formula. This helps me so much on my skin. It just makes it so much smoother and so much nicer. It gets rid of any anything that I don't want on my skin. Oh, this is gonna drip. Oh, okay, we're ready <laughs> I couldn't see it in the mirror, so that went horribly. But anyway, I took that and massaged it into my skin. And like, one pump, what you've seen there, is literally more than enough. It goes, it, it's enough for my whole face, and it's not like I'm trying to, you know, make it seem like there's more there genuinely is a lot. From just one pump. Personally, I think ordinary is great. Um, I had my moments with it because at the start, I didn't realize that I would sink in any of the um, acids for faces. You had to put a cream over, so they didn't do anything for me at the start. But now that I know how to use them properly, which guys is so important, make sure that when you do start to use skin products and start to think of your skin routine just make sure you kind of know what you're doing research what products you're using because obviously i didn't and i got nothing out of a whole bottle of ordinary so i'm very thankful that i know what i'm doing now <laughs> it, i mean with this obviously my skin routine is not perfect and I'm sure if you're watching this, you could be going like, what the fuck, why would she be doing that? Or why isn't she doing that? I know. I'm not, like, perfect on my skin routine. But it's a good one. <laughs> We've gotten somewhere. We have a solid skin routine. So I'm happy out with that. What I just put on my face is just Nivea cream. The normal, this one. Pretty sure everyone has this somewhere in their house. I just put that on top of the ordinary and last but not least we have a glow brightening moisturizer so I like to give it a little spray and then oh it went in my mouth but ta-da that guys is my skincare routine just fan that in and we are feeling glowy we are feeling moisturized pampered and my skin has been taken care of so as i mentioned i ordered food i ordered a chinese but i think it's not coming for another like 20 ish minutes especially with this weather i don't expect it to be here for another half an hour which leaves me enough time to do a few questions and maths so let's get to the homework and then i will show you guys what i got and um, i couldn't have been more wrong i literally finished Recording that and <laughs> the delivery driver came. I ordered myself a spice bag. Oh my gosh, they're just my favorite. If you don't live in Ireland, you are missing out. 
minimum order was 10 euro and this cost eight so i also got myself noodles for tomorrow <laughs> so i already have my lunch for school made but i will show you that then um no my life hack for um, ordering spice bags which i mentioned before is to order a not spicy one because then you still get all the goodies all the spices but it's not too spicy <laughs> so it just it just makes it taste so so much better because when you get the spicy one it's just too much anyway guys i'm gonna enjoy my spice bag gonna watch sam and kobe because i love watching their like hunting videos and you know discovery videos but i'm gonna watch that once i finish my spice bag not gonna even want to finish watching the video gonna get up do maths do english do business and i'm done i'm also gonna study accounting it is only eight o'clock i think so it's not too bad guys we got this we got this i have just had a thought because i'm standing downstairs in the kitchen what was that and i looked outside to see what the weather was like and it is shit it is so foggy so frosty so cold i'm freezing it is minus temperatures in Ireland right now and I'm just thinking last year when it was just a little windy we didn't have schools now it is freezing and foggy and just horrible horrible weather and we're still going to schools I just don't know how it makes sense like obviously I'm not complaining they're going to schools because I know like in Poland and in other countries it's snow and everyone just carries on with life but I'm just saying if we're not going to go in, into school when it's windy why are we going in this sweater but also my mom's going to work today and she recorded a frozen spider up so i'm going to show you guys how cold it actually is it's that's um what are these called like a house coat like a um, robe because i've been so so cold today but i'm waiting for my mom to do my hair because she's gonna do plaits so then it's curly tomorrow and um, this is my setup i'm about to start running my setup. but i'm waiting for an answer because i have a question and i don't know something but once i figure that out i'm gonna start i've done all my other homework so after english i'm gonna get into bed and edit and that is it for today guys i really hope you enjoyed this vlog i will see you tomorrow good night Mwah.